Three, two, one. What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? You are now listening to the new Black Conservative, and I'm up late at night again. It's like four in the morning. I don't know. I love I love late nights. That's kind of my thing. But um, I want to talk to y'all about kind of like the mistreatment of black conservatives basically how they are treated within the black community now I don't even have to say conservatives I would just like to say um, different black people black people who actually take pride in being smart and intelligent now some will argue that I'm intelligent some will say I'm not you know I think until I think everybody is intelligent at something one thing or another that's my view on intelligence you know I don't think everybody was, is great at everything I think I, Einstein was great at one thing but he was kind of slow at other things if I'm um, correct but I want to talk to y'all about how people treat black conservatives. Um, since I've since I've been a black conservative, I noticed that the haters, oh God, it's it's almost um, enough to make you want to um, not even speak anymore. You know. I noticed that, you know, like a lot of my people, you know, black people who I, I vouch for, who I live for, who I, you know, people who I, this is who I do this for. And I can't believe the response I get. You know, now that I'm not a liberal anymore, I can understand how black conservatives view me. I can see the frustration that they feel every day. It's so hard to try to explain to black people the horrible ideas of the left. I mean, I mean, the system over there on the left is is it's designed to keep you in a box, and it's it's hard to break free. You know, because we've been liberals for a few a few generations now, a few decades. So, you know, when you say anything that's not like the rest of the other of, of, of the pack, you know, you get called the Uncle Tom and the Coon. You know, I've been called a Coon so many times that <laughs> I'm starting to be proud of, of the name. You know. Cause I can tell you one thing I've learned about black conservatives. <laughs> I was wondering where all the smart, intelligent black people are. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't have to look no further. I mean, they definitely, they definitely the conservative blacks. And I know some smart liberal blacks, but let me tell you, I know the difference. I know the difference in the mentality the difference in the ideals, the difference in how they carry themselves. You know, I've I've heard black people say, you know, Ben Carson. I, wait, I heard another person say this, by the way. You know, but I heard a guy say, black people say Ben Carson don't represent us as a group. Well, if Dr. Ben Carson don't represent you, who the hell do you want to represent you? I mean, like, wow. I mean, who you want? A rapper to represent you? I mean, a, a street guy? You know, I ain't really trying to keep going in on street guys or nothing like that. But I don't think that's who I want to represent me. Not at this point. Not, not with what's going on in the streets. I couldn't allow that. I mean, you got... Herman Cain, one of the most brilliant black people to ever live on this earth. You know, you have to do your own research to find out about that. Like, how is he a coon? You know? And even Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, 
you know, whether I agree with him or not, I got to give him some respect, you know. I got to acknowledge the fact that he did something that is, was, high, was damn near impossible to do. You know, he became the Supreme Court Justice of the United States of America. Like, why don't we admire that? You know, look at Alan West, you know. Some of the other people, um, Condoleezza Rice, you know, many other blacks. Why don't why why do we look down on them? Why why do we call them coons and Uncle Toms? You know what? I think I know who the real coons and the real Uncle Toms are, and I'm gonna save that for a different video. But like I said, since I've been a black conservative, you know. I've lost a lot of family. I could tell, you know, certain, you know, people I grew up with look at me strange, you know. I can't I get into so many debates and waste so much time trying to educate liberals. It's it's really a waste of time. And I'm really finna stop debating with liberals because I mean, you just gotta let them grow. Like I told a liberal early on my Facebook page, I wasn't born a conservative. You know, it was through osmosis I became a conservative. It ain't just happened overnight. It took years and years and years and years of being a liberal to the point that being a liberal became a platitude. You know, the liberal point of view didn't have any meaning anymore. But y'all... Being a black conservative, I think I'm going to stop telling people that I voted for Trump or I'm going to stop. I'm about to stop telling people that I'm a black conservative because I'm starting to feel like it's a serious threat of violence, you know, hovering over me. And, you know, I want to be safe. You know, I just think it's a shame you can't even express your happiness for what you believe in. But, you know. What can I do? Anyway, that's been a new Black Conservative. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.